back with us talking Martha Stewart this mm -hmm. morning and a lot more going on in the entertainment world, but we're excited to hear about this. Yeah, this is pretty <laughs> exciting. I actually didn't realize this was um, such a discussion being yeah. uh, in the making because it was behind the scenes, but now we're finding out that almost every streaming service was in the running wow. for the Martha Stewart nice. a documentary, but Netflix won out. So the man behind the documentary is Oscar-nominated director R.J. Cutler, and he's going to take us through Martha's life from, did you know that she babysat Mickey Mantle and Yogi Berra's kids? What? No. That was like her first <laughs> job. Wow. Uh, supposedly that's where she learned how to party plan. So her whole life You're has kidding. been kind yes. of... Yes, you know. and so of course she created an empire, she went to prison, she's saying that was Snoop Dogg. I mean, she has a life to watch in a documentary. Uh, so Netflix won the battle, just closed the deal late last week. We don't have any timeline on the documentary being made or anything yeah. like that. Um, I'm interested how far of a documentary it's going to be, if they're going to have somebody like play her, right. or if it's just going to be a straight documentary, yeah. if she's going to be a part of it. We really don't know any details. She's but been an icon for I know so I long. Watch it. And, you know, I, I'm just happy that it's on Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> because I have, have Netflix. Netflix. It's like I don't it's have to beg so for passwords so really, on television. Just make sure you keep paying until yeah, it comes out. That's right. Yeah. Also <laughs> trending this morning, The Rock and his daughters watching The Quiet Place. Kind of. That's what he pretended he was watching when he shared this photo on Instagram. You can see there he said, watching The Quiet Place with my favorite ladies. My girls aren't scared. Just kidding. We're watching The Godfather. Actually, The Lion King for the 8,000th <laughs> time. He says, but next week we're watching Scarface. Just, he loves sharing uh, photos with his funny. kids. And John Krasinski actually weighed in saying, like, wait, what? You're watching I the love that place? they're watching <laughs> Lion King, though, because I feel like so, like the movies that kids watch now, yeah. I'm like, I don't even know that movie. You can yeah. do that with <laughs> Yeah, perfect. Uh, John Krasinski, of course, recently announced that The Quiet Place 2 is finally coming out. Another movie that has been sitting done yeah. for a That's while. That's going to be so hard. I think he's, gonna, he's got to come back in that movie, I feel like, some way. He's in the, the movie. Well, it was oh. the first Quiet Place, he died. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I'm saying in the second one, there's he's, some way he's yeah, got to come back. He's part of it, for yeah. sure. Also, uh, we've been talking about Olivia Rodrigo this morning. We talked about how um, she had her second number one single from her very first yeah. album and that's something no one's ever done before that first number one single was driver's license well when she first played it for her mom her mom didn't like it <laughs> Olivia said in a recent <laughs> interview her mom said quote the bridge is really weird it's too much it doesn't fit with the rest of the song I'm trying to think no, of it now the bridge it. is when she's so emotional she and she's yelling and okay. she I mean I think that makes the song we'll replay yes. it yeah that, that yeah. Uh, yeah. advice of course not advice that she took and she released the quote weird bridge that's version hilarious. of the song and it became I don't know. I mean, I know we're not even halfway through the year, but for me, it seems like that's probably the number one song of 2021 so it's far. Huge. At least yeah. it's the biggest breakout song because yeah. it's from an artist that we, you know, weren't really seeing in pop music. We're from, all yeah. from it. television, but I love how honest parents and family. Yeah. I remember I was watching a Ariana Grande uh, interview or something, and her like grandma like hated <laughs> half yeah. of her <laughs> album, but loved like God is a Woman. And I don't when know, I first started funny. working in radio, my grandparents like we don't like to listen to the music. <laughs> <laughs> They're like we, we just like, wait for you. Yeah, it's like oh. Seven seconds, you're going to get hilarious. away. We're going to go to Morning Book Club, a question of the day. What do you think is expensive right now when you're hitting the stores? Let us know on our Facebook page.